Hello everyone, Lex Ellis here from our fragrance video and uh, today I'm going to be talking about one that's just came out, it's a brand new release from Prada and that is Luna Rossa Extreme. Now um, I've noticed the original Luna Rossa doesn't really get a lot of talk, it's a sort of, I've noticed some people hate it, some people love it and it's uh, very summery, it doesn't have the best longevity and projection, it's okay, I mean some people get beast mode on it, a lot of people, it doesn't last on them. it's quite fresh, a lot of people say it's boring uh, and linear and um, so this is the latest one, this came out about maybe about a week ago and um, yeah Luna Ross Extreme, this one's an Eau de Parfum so this is a 100ml bottle, it's quite well priced, this is this cost me 68 pardon me, um, and the 50ml is £50 so for £18 more you're getting the basically you're getting double for about £18 more, so it's a really good price uh, I'm going to talk about the bottle, the bottle's actually really really good um, I quite like the bottle here, if you look black, the other one is silver, so I, think I quite like the black and the red, it looks quite good, plus you've got the, the nozzle here that protects it as well for carrying around, but you shouldn't need to because it's quite strong. So, uh, quite a nice bottle, let's talk about the fragrance. Uh, one thing I like is the spray, the spray is quite a wee cool, it's like set inside its own wee nest, so that's not too bad, quite cool. And if you look here, here's the spray, the spray is actually really good on this. I mean, right off the bat, I, I fell in love with this fragrance. Um, I just bought it there and then, and it, I, I'm glad I did. It's, um, I sprayed this on this hand when I first got it, and I sprayed the original on this hand. And it smelled so good, I mean, it really was something else. I mean, uh, to me, I was getting a peppery vibe off this. I'm getting it now, it's a sort of more, more serious, more masculine, a more serious scent. The other one's quite casual, quite relaxed, this one's quite serious. Not messing around, um, much stronger longevity projection. This one's a beast, I would say four, four sprays with this. Chest, lower neck, back of neck, and on the wrists, and you're sorted with this. It's really strong. Um, one of the things I like about the Prada house is they do, when they say it's an EDP, or the Parfum, it actually projects and lasts like an EDP. It's not, I hate it when companies sometimes release, and it's an EDT, and what they, basically all they mean is it's. Uh, by EDP it doesn't mean it's stronger, it's just how it's sort of reformulated EDT and it's like okay, so extreme means it's not as strong you know, I don't get that, I mean, you can understand darker with at times like Giovanni playing tense, but anyway this is very peppery I get quite sharp, I, I quite like it, it's quite very Italian, I mean it smells rich, it smells it does not smell cheap, I mean like I said about Prada um, if you've watched my review on Prada Amber Intense Amber Intense again was a classic example of Prada listening to the customers, a thing that you don't see a lot nowadays. A lot of designer companies I've noticed don't really listen to their customers a lot. And it's ridiculous, for example, look at Prada, Prada, uh, you know, release Amber. Amber is good, everyone loves it, it's quite well accepted, and there's a few people going, I'm not really sure about it, it's a bit too feminine for me. So what do they do? They release Prada Amber Intense. It's an EDP, it's not, it's a bit darker, not as feminine, a little bit darker and they make it an EDP so it still projects well, it still lasts long and that's it, they listen to their customers you know and that was top notch, I mean same with this, I mean what was wrong with Luna Rossa, let's look at ourselves, what do people say it was wrong with Luna Rossa? It was a bit linear, it wasn't anything special, it didn't last very long, okay how can we change that? They've made it more serious, peppery, they've made it an EDP so it lasts longer and, and that's that's it, I mean it's, it's perfect, I really like this um, it's not a lot. It's not getting a lot of coverage at the moment because it's, it's just out, uh, so not everyone's going to have it yet. So basically, the reason I'm putting the video up is just because um, a lot of people have been asking me about it here because uh, they've heard, "Oh, you get the new Prada. How is it? Blah blah blah. How is it to the original?" I like the original a lot. This one's not very summery. This one's more nighttime. Like I said, very strong lasts really long. You can dress up with this one. I mean, the other one's versatile as well. You can dress up with that too. This is very a very sexy dark scent. Seductive scent, really loving it a lot. Really, I am. And um, basically, I just had to do a review on it. I love this scent to bits. Uh, and when I wore it as well the first time, it, dry, it dried down to sort of sweeter scent as well. 
creamy honey sort of scent, quite sweet, but not too sweet as in it was childish, it was still mature sweet, it was really well done. So yeah, my hat goes off to Prada for this Luna Ross Extreme. The bottle's really cool, everything about it, um, Prada House are becoming probably one of my favourite houses due to the fact that they, they, everything is sheer quality, I mean every fragrance they bring out has something, I mean the only thing I've noticed was Infusion Dom, Dom and uh, Infusion Devetive I think it was, a lot of people saying it doesn't really smell that different. So you things like that, but they listen to their customers. That's one of the things I like about it. It's very important that you don't see a lot. They actually listen to their customers. Look at the releases, like I said. This isn't strong enough. Okay, EDP isn't complex enough. It's too linear. Right, make it more complex like this. I mean, the original in the Rosa is nice, but I had it in this wrist, and it smelled the same all the way through. Was it a big difference? This one changed a bit. Got a bit more, almost surly, but it's still, it's still good. It was a good sauce, good setter. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, I'm very, very glad that I bought this. Definitely one of my favourite fragrances I've got. Um, probably one of the best releases this year. Um, another one, a totally good release is Diesel Fuel for Life Spirit. Another excellent cologne from Diesel. I'm going to do a review on that as well. Um, yeah, this is a quite a good sort. According to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's a solid release. I don't think um, you can go wrong with this. If you like the original's freshness, this might not be for you. Again, it's darker toned down, it's not as um, fresh, it's not as you know, sporty, but it's more you know, dark, suited up, suited and booted some fancy nightclub where they charge you seven pounds for a beer. Yeah, that sort of place. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I get from this. Solid release, really, really good. Uh, I, I can't stop praising it enough. I've, I've got a few comments off this as well. It, one thing I love is the fact that it lasts. It lasts really well. Prada, when they make it, like I said, when they make a perfume, it lasts like perfume. It isn't a glorified EDT. It lasts very well. I mean, and again with the price, eh, I got this in Debenhams. Forgot to mention. And and the other were charging fifty for the the fifty mils and um, sixty eight for the hundred hundred mils. Sorry, it was sixty three. They had a sale on, so. If you missed it like I did, tough luck, but I mean you're talking five pounds, five pounds more, but can't really go wrong. I definitely think you guys should sniff this, but again if you're a fan of a you might not like it, so I don't recommend it as a blind buy simply because of the peppery start. I love the start of it to bits, it might irritate some people's nose. So um like I said the start's a bit peppery and almost spiky. So for that alone I wouldn't recommend blind buying this, you know. But yeah, definitely, I think this is a solid fragrance for a date. This is, <laughs> this is made for a date, really. This is made for a date. Um, I think it's a good work scent as well. Just go easy on the trigger. One spray, maybe two. If you're Trump novice or you're the boss and everyone's scared to say anything to you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, work scent. That, um, casual wear. Again, I don't really see us being too casual. For casual wear, I would go with the original Luna Rossa. It's more versatile. It's a, more aquatic, sporty, casual. This is more serious. This is more dress up, you know, dinner party, you know, um, fancy nightclub, you know, Italian shoes, Italian suit, tie and stuff. And that's what this is sort of for. This is a bit more classy, dressed up. Excellent release from Prada. Prada Luna Rossi Extreme guys. Uh, yeah, I recommend it. Don't blind buy, but seriously, if you want to buy the store, do stop and give it a sniff. Like if you if you you're running for a train and you're about to miss the train. And you're passing by, and you can sniff this. Miss the train, because this, this is worth missing the train for. That's that's how I describe this. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, any questions you have, please message me. Leave them in the comments. Um, I'll need to add some more stuff to my blog. This will be in the playlist as well. So to get any videos, just click the playlist, and they're all listed there. So yeah, and also if you you like this one, and you're interested in more Prada, I have a Prada Amber Intense video. So check that out as well. Overall, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.